JBN, we keep you informed. Man attacked and killed for Shantae Skyers. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. The police's Corporate Communications Unit, CCU, has confirmed that two men were taken into custody today in relation to the murder of eight-year-old Shante Skyers. CCU says they are to be questioned. Meanwhile, angry residents in the rural St. Andrew community mobbed and killed a man who have been accused of killing Shante. According to information received, 27-year-old Miguel Williams, who resided in a section of the community known as Bula Level, was reportedly set ablaze and burnt to death. His house was also set ablaze. Williams was beaten to death and then set on fire with old tires and debris because residents said he was the prime suspect in the death of young Shante. Relatives of Williams said he returned from a mental facility only a few weeks ago and takes his medication regularly. His brother, when asked if he thinks his brother would have committed such a gruesome act, said at first he didn't believe but when he heard the story, he thinks his brother is involved. He also thinks the community has done the right thing because his brother would have returned from jail and commit a similar offense. The residents had been in a militant mood since Monday when they mounted a boisterous protest and blocked the road as they accused the police of being lethargic in their efforts to locate the young girl. Shantae's body was discovered in bushes in the Sterling Castle Ice area of Red Hill St. Andrew yesterday. The grade 3 student disappeared last Thursday after she was seen walking home from school through a popular but lonely pathway that leads to her home. A search operation was then launched to find her. The police are now investigating both murders. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.